Hello friends and thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be taking this um, empty, rather undecorated backyard and turning it into a bit of a fall harvest uh, themed yard. So I'm going to uh, show you what it looks like before. As you can see, my dogs have toys all over the place. I feel like they're worse than toddlers and I'm constantly picking up dog toys all over the place. I also have some of these herbs to harvest before I move on to decorating. So I'm going to start with harvesting my herbs. There were some basil, sage, parsley, thyme, uh, oregano, and I think that's it. Oh, I think I had some Thai basil that needed to be harvested as well. This year, the, my herbs have lasted me quite a long time. Um, I was able to use them in cooking and still get uh, quite a bit for the freezer. I've been doing this for several years and I love having my own herbs in a freezer for as long as I can. Usually parsley is gone first, but um, things like sage and thyme, they last me uh, almost the whole year. I would love to know if you uh, have any of your own herbs or do you harvest anything out of your garden. I would love to have a vegetable garden, but um, I'm not sure where would be a good spot in my backyard just because the way it's uh, facing, I don't get a lot of full direct sun only in one area and I don't think it's quite big enough for a vegetable garden. If this is your first time stopping by my channel my name is Sonia and I would love it if you consider becoming part of my YouTube family here and by pressing that bell uh, as well as a subscribe button so press the subscribe button first and then the bell um, over on this channel I do tons of home organization decorating and clean with me so I'm sure there is something here for you uh, to enjoy if you had stopped by already so for today's fall decorating, we will be using some of these mums. I had picked up the large one at Costco and then the smaller ones at a local grocery store. And then I have tons of DIYs that I didn't get to use on my front porch to use here. There's uh, pumpkins, some turkeys, and all sorts of stuff. So here are all of my... Um, Herbs, I forgot that I had all the mint because I do enjoy a mojito or two and I like growing my own mint. And I had actually taken the mint out of the garden and put it in a pot. That way it's a more of a controlled environment. If you have grown mint anywhere, you know they kind of take over everything. So, and putting them in the pot, they come year after, back year after year and it's just nice to uh, have them, like I said, controlled. So before I get started with decorating, I wanted to put these cushions away. Uh, it's supposed to rain for next couple days and it, even looking at a month ahead, 14 day forecast, it's supposed to be quite rainy. So there, I did not see the point of having these out and we can sit without them. And then I went ahead and picked up all these toys that the dogs have dragged from inside. I tried to keep the rubber ones outside. Well, I don't try and keep them. They take them out so I just keep them outside um, the rubber ones or the squeaky toys that are rubber and then all the cloth ones I would like to keep inside however they do sneak them outside once in a while as well so I just bring them in and toss them in a washing machine so they are nice and clean if they're inside uh, they also like to drag my empty uh, flower pots all, all over the place so I had to put those back where they belong. So I decided to take this giant one off of my step because they keep knocking it down. I think they even cracked the pot and put the large mom in it right here. I hope they don't knock it down by running. Uh, I do have some wood and stones on the bottom of the pot to, to weigh it down. And then I went around and put the smaller ones into my cast iron uh, urns that I have uh, in the in the yard. And then I also took one blue one, the small smaller plastic one, over by the fire pit, which I will show you shortly. And I tried to kind of um, mix up the colors so that I'm not grouping two of the same colors together. 
Then I'm placing these uh, DIY pumpkins that I DIYed last year over on my channel. Um, and um, I wanted them over here, but I was struggling with them a little bit. But you will see at the end what I did to make it look a little bit better. So around the fire pit, that's pretty much all I did. And then I moved on to my deck and patio and added some turkeys and pumpkin, wooden pumpkins everywhere. So I came to this angle just to show you uh, the full uh, backyard and how it looks. So I'm going to slowly show you everything, what I did. I brought that one from the front just because it's not doing well. And I think what happened was in that basket that it's at, it's not draining properly. So it was like almost overwatered rather than underwatered. So I had dumped all the water out and let's see how it does. If not, I'll just go get another one. I want to get another one then for the front too. But I really like the way it looks in that basket. So we'll see if I make a couple holes in that basket just to so it works a little bit better i can't wait till this one opens up make sure you are following along on instagram because i will be sharing all that there i added a little scarecrow the dogs haven't seen him yet let's see what happens when they do and i really like how simple the fire pit looks there's no point of i mean if you're sitting around the fire pit it would be nice to have a couple more around but you can't actually really see any of it from um, the inside of the house and that was what i was going for is just to add a little bit of color when you looked out the window but you never know maybe i will add a couple more like i said we really love to add some pumpkins but i don't think that's gonna happen because I can guarantee you Frank's going to eat all the real pumpkins, even wood is questionable whether he's going to eat it or not. So then turning over here, so these are really neat. They actually look like real candles, um, but they are solar. So I will try and remember to um, share the, the night look with you tonight. I'm hoping to have a fire later on tonight. So. I don't know what they heard that they both came out running. You can see my hostas are just being destroyed. Right, Frank? Frankie? Frankie? So then over here, I just added a little pump, wooden pumpkins in the corner there. And then over here, I have the wooden turkey. And then here added a couple of these ceramic um, jack-o-lanterns. I just really like the coloring of them. A couple lanterns and I have to make have uh, space for coffees here because we do enjoy our morning coffees here as well. So, well, I'm very pleased with the way this turned out. Like I said, I didn't want it to go overboard because before you know it, it's going to be snowing, but I just wanted to add a bit of color. Once that turns this one doesn't turn as as nice my mother-in-law's because my mother-in-law lives there that one looks absolutely stunning in fall but most of these won't the little I, I tiger eyes at the back will have um, flaming color and i don't have a burning bush any anymore here i think it's at the front and then i have this one will turn a little bit so not too many will turn the fall colors like s some you can get but um that's why i like to add a little bit and i think this is it's gonna look good especially once that one opens up well i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. And until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.